The state says starting today, Illinois hospitals can again perform elective surgeries. Andy Weber talked with area hospitals to see exactly what services they're offering patients now. Andy? Just because the state is allowing hospitals to resume elective surgery, that does not mean everything is back to normal. First of all, because of the pandemic shutdown, there is a backlog of surgeries because, as Dr. Mike Cruz with OSF Healthcare explains, a lot of cancellations had to be made. For the entire system, that'd be thousands. But even a St. Francis Medical Center, um, we could be doing 80 procedures a day uh, on any given day. So it doesn't take a whole lot to figure out that over a six week period, uh, that's a substantive volume of work. And because of this, area hospitals such as Unity Point Methodist are rescheduling surgeries using a set of factors. How essential the surgery is, how much resources does it take, and really the number one thing is does the patient need it right now or is it essential enough to do it right now. Dr. Samir Sater says patients will be called by the hospital for rescheduling. Trace Bartley with Advocate Broman in Normal says like many hospitals around the country, patients should expect some new standard practices. We have decided to uh, you know, test every procedural patient, so anyone that's having a surgery. Obviously see a lot, everyone in the hospital wearing, wearing masks. One visitor can come with the, um, the patient. Most hospitals are focusing on providing ambulatory procedures, those of which patients can return home on the same day. Inpatient overnight procedures can also be done as long as they have enough ICU beds and ventilators on standby. For 25 News, I'm Andy Weber.